Hi guys, welcome to Smokeless Philippines. Today, we'll be doing a product review on the new products we have here at Smokeless. So for now, we're going to start reviewing the snooze selection. And to start off, we have the extra snooze that comes in two different flavors. I'll be reviewing each flavor based on the aroma, flavor, strength, and the feel of the pouches. And after that, I'll be giving my overall rating. All right, to start off, I'll be reviewing the extra Arctic Mint Extra Strong Slim White. Inside, there are 20 pouches, and a can of this costs 240 pesos. The portions are also white, meaning they're unmoistened, so there is a slower release of nicotine and flavor. The overall nicotine content of this is 80 mg per gram, and each pouch weighs 0.5 grams, so the nicotine content per pouch is 9 mg. So let's read the description from the manufacturer before we start reviewing it. The XR Arctic Mint Snooze takes you on a refreshing flavor journey. Expect a delightful cooling sensation under the lid. Alright, so let's check the aroma first. Mm, it has a pleasant smell to it. The notes that I'm getting are mint with a hint of tobacco. It almost seems like there was a mix of the hint with the tobacco and it produced like a slight sweetness to its scent, which is kind of pleasant. I usually tend to go for the fruity flavored pouches since I love how it mixes as well with the tobacco. But for this one, this one didn't make me as theory eyed how like other mint products do. So overall, it's very pleasant to the nose and I'm really excited to try the flavor of this one. So for this one, I'll be giving the aroma a 4.2 rating. All right, so let's take a pouch. So for the flavor, the first thing that I tasted was obviously it's a mint. However, I'm really surprised with this one because most mint would tend to overpower usually most of the pouches. However, for this one, it seems like it's well balanced. So I'm really starting to enjoy the flavor of that mostly. However, I wish that I could taste more of the tobacco in it since I love when it mixes with different flavors. Seems like the flavor with this one is quite subtle and that's actually what I expected because of its aroma. I had also a subtle mint there that was not overpowering. So overall, it's quite enjoyable so far. However, since I wanted to taste more of the tobacco in it, I would just give this a 3.8 rating. All right, now for the strength. So this is an extra strong snooze at 9 mg. However, nine extra strong snooze can range to 9 to 12 mg. So actually with this one, I'm really used to taking the 12 milligram of nicotine per pouch. So maybe for this one, it didn't really hit me as much. I didn't feel any dizziness that I usually do when I still take my pouches. I wanted it to be much stronger. However, like the overall like nicotine effects of it, like it's very mild, it's subtle, it's there like it's flavor and aroma it's still very an enjoyable experience so for this one i'll give it a 4.4 rating all right so for the feel of the pouches again the pouch of this is so soft and it's so comfortable under my lip it's also very discreet since it's slim and it's also a white pouch so i usually tend to like original portions more which means that the bags are already moistened and that's the type of snooze that I would go in for more. However, for this one, since the pouches are so soft and it's discreet, I tend to have a smaller mouth and usually you can see the snooze in there. But with this one, you barely can see it. So that's really what I usually look for in slim pouches or in pouches. It's also very nice under my lip and yes, there is quite a bit of cooling sensation that I'm feeling right now, but it's not overpowering and it's still a subtle like all of its other features. So for the feel of the pouches, I'm going to be giving it a 4.5 rating. Alright, so for the overall rating of this snooze, it's quite such an enjoyable experience from smelling its aroma till the till rating the feel of the pouches. So I've been really happy about this. I didn't have any expectations of what we go through when I try this one. However, I'm surprised that it was actually really good. And although like my only complaint would be like the strength wasn't too much, however, its flavor, the feel of the pouches, and the aroma is all there. It's the type of mint that's not overpowering at all. I also wanted the flavor to have a bit of more tobacco in it. I wish it was more present. So for this one, my overall rating is 4.2.